I'm Ian Green from Korski Farm, Carmouth. A farming partnership with my mother and father and eldest daughter Laura. Uh, we're on a mixed farm of cereals, beef, sheep and pigs. The reason we was looking at the Ritchie Beef Monitor was the fact that we felt we weren't getting full potential out of selling finished uh, cattle. Well, it was very difficult to try and judge exactly to get them to their maximum weight without being overweight or underweight. And we were having to weigh cattle regularly and uh, it seemed quite time consuming doing that all the time. Now it's more accurately done that we've got the beef monitor and it saves the handling and the, and the labour of weighing cattle all the time. Uh, I'm Laura and I'm also a partner in the business along with my dad and my grandparents and I predominantly take on um, quite a big role with the cattle. We've been EID tagging at Korski now for a number of years and when the calves are born they are tagged with EID buttons. So the beef monitor actually works by when the bulls step on and take a drink of water there's an EID reader um, beside the water trough and it reads the EID tag and sends the data to the computer via the tag. So the beef monitor um, records the daily life weight gain on the computer as well um, as obviously the weight gain and their current weight um, so that we can see what weight they are currently standing at as well as how they've performed for this week and it also gives you the option to look at two weeks ago and three weeks ago so you can see if they've increased their daily life weight gain or reduced it. The maximum group size for the beef monitor would be around 50 to 60 just purely because um, of the water trough you've got to bear in mind that that's the only source of water for that animals. The beef monitor was really easy to set up and use because it just needed the 240 volt power um, and obviously a water connection. Um, from the computer side, like I said, we were already EID tagging. Um, the only problem with it was our farm software program reads it in a different format because the current EID tags um, can be read in two different formats. Um, and unfortunately the beef monitor reads in a different format to farm software programs but thankfully um, the team at Richie's are really helpful in helping you convert that so that we can relate it back to our farm software um, and also that's a problem that will probably hopefully not exist in a few years time if the new WYSIWYG tags come out that's um, in planning. The cattle adapt fairly quick, you usually find within the first 24 hours the cattle are on the, on the beef weighing uh, system straight away they're quite curious and they go and see what it is and then they stand on it and go in for a drink of water. Obviously that's their only access of water once it's set up and working. So it's amazing how quick they'll, they'll go in and look for a drink. The beef monitor uh, location really depends on what facilities and what buildings you've got. Uh, we just put our one uh, into the end of a cattle court um, or a corner of a cattle court. We can move our one about from different pens of cattle. So uh, it's a case of just making it somewhere suitable the cattle can go on and off and access it easily and keep them away obviously from the electronic end of it. Yeah, you can use the Richie cattle monitor outside, although we haven't. Uh, you need to get a solar panel system to keep the battery charged in it. But our cattle are all inside it, we're finishing anyway, so we haven't used ours outside. Um, there's not really been too many main problems with using the beef monitor. Um, when it first came home new, obviously it was very shiny and clean. Um, and the bulls were a little bit suspicious, but once it got a bit mucky and we just now know that um, after it's been washed between groups, we just sort of dirty a little bit um, so that they're not so scared to go on, essentially. Um, the shininess was just putting them off a bit because once it's dirty, we have no problems in them going on. Um, and then just the EID software, pro um, a little problem with that, but it's not a major problem, it's quite easily fixed. The Richie's team um, is really helpful and supportive. If you've got any problems, um, you just pick up the phone or send them an email and they normally get back to you quite quick and they're really willing to help where they can. The Beef Monitor works off a multi-SIM card, so it's very unlikely that you wouldn't get a network coverage because it will jump to the network that gives the strongest coverage in your area. Um, so there is a monthly subscription fee of, I think it's £30 for that. Um, and then it sends the data all along to the computer um, and they also have an app so you can access all the data um, if you're on the go on your phone or in the computer. I would say the main benefits we've had from using the Richie Beef Monitor is the fact that we've managed to get as close to dead weight achievable from our cattle and also seen 
if there's been any change in their diet, we can see how the, that's related back to the performance of the cattle finishing. Um, the big benefit is you don't have to handle cattle to know what they're doing in terms of daily live weight gain. Yeah, we've been able to see any changes in husbandry or um, changes in diet instantly with the beef monitor. Uh, for example, we, you know, we found it when we were taking cattle out and, and back fat scanning them and monitoring them uh, and handling them. As soon as we put them back in, it was about seven to 10 days later before the cattle started um, putting weight on again. So they stood still for about a week. Uh, I wouldn't say it had any different um, impacts on feeding or bedding requirements. Uh, you just need to make sure that it's mm. kept clean round the back where the cattle step on and off, obviously, so that the scales are reading accurately. Um, but it's no more than you'd be daily checking your water troughs. The Ritchie Beef Monitor hasn't influenced our breeding decisions, but I could see a place on a farm that was using several different breeds and several different sires. Uh, you could certainly use it just as you would with normal daily live weight gain. It, it's monitoring that all the time. The cost benefit of the Ritchie Beef Monitor, the, on the first batch of bulls we put through, we managed to raise our average value by £68 a head. That was for 51 bulls. And that was just simply for the fact that we managed to get them to their maximum dead weight possible without being penalised. There's not much I would like to change about the beef monitor. I think it works really quite well as is, but it would maybe be interesting if they could do a sort of shedding option so it automatically pulled the animals out when they were at weight. Um, it's just another management tool to be used. And again, it just saves taking the whole group out um, to pull out the ones that you need for going off because again that means you're handling them which we're trying to avoid because as we've seen before um, using the beef monitor that once you handle the animals it can take up to seven to ten days for them to start going back to the weight gain that they were at um, so anything to try and minimize the handling of them um, is a good idea I think. As far as if you're if you're considering investing in a beef monitor at all I would definitely thoroughly recommend speaking to somebody that's got one or even going to see one working. Uh, it's so simple, uh, there's, there's no mechanics or anything to go wrong with it. Um, we've been so pleased with our one, we've now invested in a second one uh, for one of the other farms.